Good day. Welcome to Teacher Ariel TV. Matatag Curriculum. Math 4. Quarter 1, Week 3. Calculate the perimeter of parallelograms. Give the formula for finding the perimeter of a parallelogram, rhombus, trapezoid, and other trapezoidal shapes. Solve for the perimeter of quadrilaterals such as parallelogram, rhombus, and trapezoid. And follow the correct formulas in solving for the perimeter of quadrilaterals. Day 1 Short review I have here the quadrilateral family tree Can you identify a real world object that matches each type of quadrilateral? Example, square, rectangle, rhombus, trapezoid or trapezium, parallelogram, kite Square, a chessboard square or floor tile. Rectangle, a door or book cover. Rhombus, a diamond shape, road sign or kite. Trapezoid or trapezium, a bridge support or trapezoidal handbag flap. Parallelogram, a tilted window pane or learning bookshelf support. Kite. A traditional paper kite or kite shape wall decor. Describe the object and explain why it fits the definition of the specific quadrilateral. For example, you might think of a square tile for a square or a kite toy for a kite. Square Floor tile A floor tile often found in classrooms or kitchens is shaped like a square. A square has four equal sides and four right angles. Floor tiles are manufactured with these equal dimensions for easy alignment and consistent spacing. Rectangle Door A standard door has a taller height and shorter width, forming a rectangle. Rectangles have opposite sides that are equal in length and four right angles. A door has two long sides and two shorter ones with all corners at 90 degrees, making it a perfect rectangle. Rhombus Diamond Shape Road Sign Some warning road signs are shaped like a diamond or rhombus. A rhombus has all sides of equal length, but its angles are not all 90 degrees. These signs are straight squares making them classic rhombuses. Trapezoid or trapezium Handbag flap The flap of a handbag is often wider at the bottom and narrower at the top. A trapezoid has one pair of parallel sides. The top and the bottom of the flap are parallel while the sides are slanted, fitting the definition. Parallelogram Slanted book end a book end that lends backward or forward has a slanted rectangular shape. A parallelogram has opposite sides that are equal and parallel. The slanted book end has sides that run in parallel pairs but are not at right angles. Kite Paper kite toy A traditional kite is shaped with two short sides and two long sides joined together. A kite has two pairs of adjacent sides that are equal. The toy has symmetry along one diagonal and the sides next to each other are the same length forming a kite shape. How do the properties of these objects align with the geometric properties of the corresponding quadrilaterals? Square Floor tile All sides are equal in length. All corners are right angles. A square is a quadrilateral with four equal sides and four right angles. Floor tiles are designed this way for symmetry and easy alignment in tiling patterns. Rectangle Door Opposite sides are equal. Height is greater than the width. All corners are right angles. 
A rectangle has opposite sides equal and all angles 90 degrees. Doors are built this way to fit standard openings and hinge. Rhombus, diamond round sign, four equal length sides. Angles are not necessarily 90 degrees, but opposite angles are equal. A rhombus has four equal sides and opposite angles equal. Diamond road signs use this symmetry to attract attention while maintaining geometric balance. Trapezoid Handbag flap Top and bottom edges are parallel. Side edges are slanted and not equal. A trapezoid has only one pair of parallel sides. The design of the flap uses this for both function, closure, and style. Parallelogram, slanted book end. Opposite sides are equal and parallel. Angles are not right angles. A parallelogram has opposite sides parallel and equal in length. The slant provides support and stability while matching the shape's definition. Kite or kite toy. Two pairs of adjacent sides are equal. One diagonal is the axis of symmetry. A kite has two distinct pairs of equal adjacent sides and one line of symmetry. The toy kite shape uses this for balance and flight control. Let's answer this. Match column A to column B. Number 1. Perimeter. Letter B. The total distance around the edge of a shape. Number 2. Quadrilateral. Letter A, a four-sided polygon. Number 3, parallelogram. Letter D, a quadrilateral with opposite sides that are parallel and equal in length. Number 4, formula. A mathematics rule expressed in symbols. And number 5, square. Letter E, four equal sides and angle. Day 2 Subtopic 1 Parallelograms and Rhombos Mount Pedro planted his vegetable garden with varieties of vegetable seedlings for his family. His garden is in the shape of parallelogram with a length of 50 meters and a width of 20 meters. What is the total distance around Mount Pedro's vegetable garden? What did Mount Pedro do to his visible garden? Why did he plant his garden with varieties of visible seedlings? What is asked in the problem? What are the given facts that can help you solve the problem? What can you say about Mang Pedro? Perimeter is the total distance around a closed plane figure. To determine the perimeter of the visible garden of Mang Pedro, follow these steps. Number 1. Identify the length and the width of the garden. So the length is 50 meters, width 20 meters. Number 2. Add the measurements of all the sides of the garden. Since the figure has four sides, we say that perimeter equals length plus length plus width plus width. Then P equals L plus L plus W plus W. Number three, using the formula you developed, substitute the measurement of each side, then add. Perimeter equals length plus length plus width plus width. Or perimeter equals 50 meters plus 50 meters plus 20 meters plus 20 meters. So perimeters equals 140 meters. Therefore, the perimeter or the distance around Mang Pedro's vegetable garden is 140 meters. Perimeter of parallelogram. 
The perimeter of a parallelogram is calculated by adding the lengths of all its sides. As opposite sides are equal in length, thus, you only need to know the lengths of two adjacent sides. So, perimeter equals length plus length plus width plus width or perimeter equals 2 times length plus 2 times width or P equals 2L plus 2W. Mamo say, build a rhombus study table for a sun. The sides of the table measure 35 centimeters. What is the perimeter of the table? What did Mangusi build? What is the shape of the table? What is asked in the problem? What are the given facts that can help you solve the problem? To find the perimeter of a rhombus table, follow these steps. 1. Identify the measurement of the side. Side equals 35 centimeters. Number 2. Since a rhombus has 4 equal sides, simply add all the lengths of the sides. Perimeter equals side plus side plus side plus side. Perimeter equals 35 centimeters plus 35 centimeters plus 35 centimeters plus 35 centimeters. Perimeter equals 140 centimeters. Work example. Example 1. Compute the perimeter of the parallelogram given below. The formula. Perimeter equals 2 times length plus 2 times width. Perimeter equals 2 times 9 inches plus 2 times 4 inches. So, 2 times 9 equals 18 and 2 times 4 equals 8. So, 18 plus 8 equals 26. So, the answer is 26 inches. Example 2. Find the perimeter of a rhombus below. Side length equals 10 inches. So I have here the formula. Perimeter equals 4 times side. Perimeter equals 4 times 10 inches. So 4 times 10 equals 40. So the answer is 40 inches. Day 3. Subtopic 2. Trapezoid and trapezoidal shapes. Mrs. Mary Jean Reyes wants to stay fit. So she walks around the trapezoidal park every day before going to school. The park measures 35 meters, 40 meters, 55 meters, and 70 meters respectively. What is the total distance that Mrs. Reyes covers every day? Who walks around the park every day before going to school? What is the shape of the park? What is asked in the problem? What are the given facts that can help you solve the problem? The lengths of the side of the trapezoidal park are as follows. Side 1 equals 35 meters. Side 2 equals 40 meters. Side 3 equals 55 meters. Side 4 equals 70 meters. What to do with the sides? Add the measurements of all the sides. I have here the formula. Perimeter equals side 1 plus side 2 plus side 3 plus side 4. So we are going to write perimeter equals S1 plus S2 plus S3 plus S4. Perimeter equals 35 meters 
plus 40 meters plus 55 meters plus 70 meters so the answer is 200 meters therefore the perimeter of the trapezoidal park is 200 meters Example 1. My brother bought a trapezoidal frame with the following measurements 60 cm, 65 cm, 80 cm, and 95 cm. What is its perimeter? Who bought a frame? What is the shape of the frame? What is asked in the problem? What are the given facts that can help you solve the problem? What are the measurements of the sides of the frame? Perimeter equals side 1 plus side 2 plus side 3 plus side 4. Perimeter equals S1 plus S2 plus S3 plus S4. Perimeter equals 60 centimeters plus 65 centimeters plus 80 centimeters plus 95 centimeters. So 60 plus 65 plus 80 plus 95 equals 300. So perimeter equals 300 centimeters. Therefore, the perimeter of the trapezoidal frame is 300 centimeters. What is perimeter? The perimeter is the total distance around the outside of a two-dimensional shape. It's the length of the boundary of a shape. How do we solve for the perimeter of a closed figure such as parallelogram, rhombus, trapezoid? To find the perimeter of a parallelogram, rhombus, or trapezoid, you simply add the lengths of all its sides. When was the last time you miscalculated the perimeter of a shape like a rectangle, square, or trapezoid? How did you realize your mistake and what did you do to fix it? Day 4 Formative Assessment Solve for the perimeter of the following Choose the letter of the correct formula or number sentence. Read and analyze each problem below. Then fill in the needed data. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.